Consistency. Consistency. That is what the Detroit Lions are missing. Uh, they are consistently an injured team whose starters are in and out of the game, and that forces you to have a bunch of backups in here. So you got Derek Barnes. He's going to be in the middle here. They got Alex Anzalone at the edge and Jalen Reeves maybe at the other edge. I think this is uh, – no, that's Michael Brock is out here playing the five-tech. And there's Levi Zaruki in there in the middle. Okay. All right. But right now we're going to focus on Derek Barnes. Uh, on the play, on the first play of this week's film session, when Derek Barnes was uh, coming in there to help Tracy Walker get that assisted tackle, uh, I talked about the false steps. I like to see my linebackers get downhill and run through people. And Derek Barnes does just that on this play. He gets downhill, he diagnoses this play. And you see he's in p perfect position to blow this play up. Now, if, if we all didn't watch the game and I showed you this image, what would you think this was? This would be a tackle for loss. Maybe he runs him over, picks up five yards, gets tackled by this guy. You know, maybe he falls four for three. Like, you would have never thought that this was a 30, 40, 50-yard play. And it's just consistency, man. We need consistency from... Everybody, and it's tough to ask from that from young guys who are just getting their feet wet, but this right here is just a moment where the moment was just too big for the rook, and you got a guy lined up, you're in the hole, it's you versus him, Why you should never stop your feet. You never stop your feet. He stops his feet, and he's going to whiff, and that allows this to turn into Tracy Walker, highest greatest safety, poor angle, arm tackle, missed tackle, he's still going. We've got guys that have potential. We got guys that can make plays. We need consistency. I mean, just a whiff there. I mean, there's there's a lot to like. I mean, from the effort standpoint, like you'll just see here when I start this thing, he's immediately downhill, immediately into a hole, and immediately into a tackle. Just whiffs. Arm tackle. You got to – you're Derek Barnes, bro. You're 6'2", 250-plus pounds. You should be running through that dude like the Kool-Aid man through a brick wall. Tracy Walker poured tackling angle. And this guy's just running, running, running. Let's look at it from another angle. I mean, it's the little things. It's the little things. Sometimes you can't just blame the coach. The coach can put you in the best position. Here is the perfect call to stop this play. And even your player, your rookie, he makes the perfect read. I read it. They all crash down. What are they trying to – he seals the edge. They're crashing down. Read your keys. This is the hole. Let me attack it with full speed. No, I stop my feet, and I lunge with an arm tackle instead of running through that guy. And he runs through my arm tackle. Will Harris is Will Harris. And Tracy Walker is a poor angle. Another arm tackle. At least he gave effort trying to get him down. Good job by Monty Warrior and not giving up on this play. and does enough to trip him up. If that's Dalvin Cook, that's a touchdown. So, again, I'm not trying to be negative, guys. When you go against a 1-3 and three Vikings team, they don't have their best player, and in the first half you give up 100-plus receiving yards to Jamar Jefferson, and the second string running back gets over 140 yards from scrimmage and a touchdown, that's not a good defensive game. You have one job. There's no way. The backup, just every single backup running back kills us. And I don't know if it's, do we sleep on guys? Are we, you know, they hear Dalvin Cooks out and they just think the game is going to be easy for them because Alexander Madison had some plays really where he made us look foolish. And this is one of them. You, why is his feet stopped? The running back's feet stopped. You full speed run through him like the Kool-Aid man through a brick wall on Family Guy. I'm telling you, man. So we got a long way to go. But, uh, you know, just keep improving every week. I, I, I have faith in – I like Derek Barnes. I love Derek Barnes. He's one of my favorite players. He's definitely my favorite player from this draft. Levi Zarouki has been the biggest disappointment, but at least he's getting back out on the field. I saw him make a play earlier in this draft. Should have highlighted it, but he looks strong on the inside. He causes this whole pal. He's taking on double teams. Uh, but, you know, we got to finish. And stuff like this won't happen to us. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because I would hate for you to miss any other other film sessions that we got coming on later in the week 
or any of the other film sessions we got from any of the games we got this year, man.